This is a coincidence that we'll be able to be as straight and honest with you as humanly possible. I was there on Friday night at around 7 or 7.30 with my wife when I looked at my iPad and I saw that somebody retweeted something from his account. I clicked on it, I looked at the image, and I, maybe I'm dense or something, but it took me uh, about 14, 15 seconds to go, what could this possibly be? And I was like, oh, I know exactly what that is. And uh, what, what happened is, is um, uh, we realized that we had a tip in our tip box that had, that had come previously uh, that, that, that came on May 20th where, where a person uh, representing this woman said that, that they had some incriminating photos and so it was on that evening that I tried to contact that tipster. I was able to contact that person's point person on Saturday the person was out of uh, range because of uh, Memorial Day weekend. We weren't able to talk until Tuesday. We weren't able to uh, agree upon anything. And then on Friday, uh, the, the woman uh, reached out to me. This just this last Friday, I have yet to meet her. Um, I have yet to meet her, and this has been independently corroborated. Uh, the the content that uh, was put on the website by a major news bureau. Here, this, sir. Well, no, this is an ongoing story. This is a compelling story, but I, I certainly did not like that uh, he doubled down on the, this is about Breitbart uh, problem. I mean, if he's going to come up here and take some form of culpability here, he was party to a campaign for 72 hours that weekend to allow for the left-wing blogosphere, including the Daily Cost, to accuse me of being the hacker. Um, is there, are there any repercussions for journalism on the left uh, when they falsely claim that I'm the hacker? Marcos Melitsis of uh, uh, the, the Daily Cost will not apologize. In fact, he admitted that he named the girls, the, 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 the uh, uh, underage girls, because they had the wrong politics. At what point does Meet the Press say we're no longer going to allow Marcus Melitsis on the air? Why is there no accountability for an entire weekend of false reporting that was based upon what I believe was Congressman Weiner's strategy to blame the messenger? Kerry Pickett.